Today, we're going to install this Ecowit G1000 Wi-Fi gateway to replace my Raspberry Pi that's bringing in weather data to my Home Assistant instance. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you download the WSVU app, and you can find that in the Play Store for your uh, phone. And you're going to open the WSVU app and it's going to open up to a configuration or configure device page and it's going to give you some options for which device to, to select. And before you get to that point, you need to make sure that you have, if you look at your Ecowit device, make sure that that red light is flashing like that. And uh, if it does not, there is a little um, reset button on the very back right here. You just hold that in for five seconds. Uh, after powering on and that reset button will then bring it back to normal now if you've already configured this at some point or whatever which hopefully if it's brand new in the box it hasn't been you need to make sure that you factor reset it uh, but anyway once that's flashing then you're going to click on the picture of the device and you're going to click on next and it's going to tell you it's going to ask you you know plug in the powered port press and hold the reset button for five seconds confirm the led is rapidly flashing which is what we're looking at right here and then we're going to go ahead and click on next and it's going to try to find the device and it found the gw1000 and now you're going to add your wi-fi ssid and your wi-fi password and when you're done with all these settings we can always come back to this stuff we're going to go ahead and save it just to get it on the wi-fi network all right so now it gives you a little error it says configure your device to connect to the gw1000 so let me go back in here and connect to the gw1000 device Setup is complete and it's ready to verify. And you notice that the Wi-Fi light now has changed. It's now a solid. And now what it's picking up is it's picking up RF uh, information from my weather station outside and bringing it into this device. And you can see the RF lights lit up here and you can see the Wi-Fi lit, light is solid. Now, we're not quite done yet. We have to uh, configure it so it will talk to Home Assistant. So you'll click on more and you're going to go to uh, weather services and you can you can go through and register all of these services if you want to you can send all these different services this is the ecowit ecowit.net service you can register for this it will send it in one minute intervals so there's a little re register at ecowit uh, ecowit uh, button there you can set up weather underground and send to weather underground you can send a weather cloud you can send a weather observer observations website and then there's customize and I want to enable customize and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the server name and uh, host name or IP host name which is uh, my local home assistant setup and my port is going to be my home assistant port and my upload interval is going to be 60 seconds and I'm going to save this now I'll leave the path the way it is because that's it doesn't matter it's going to find that and now I can click on finish and that's all you have to do in the app unless you want to do some custom settings. There are some device settings you can set. That. Now this device determines what the actual uh, weather station device is. I didn't have to do anything for that. Um, so it automatically knew what it was. Now I do want to set my time zone correctly though. So I'll come in here and set it to minus six central time. Now to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa, you need to go all the way to the back, all the way back to the main menu. Notice your station shows up here as well. And then you click on menu and you want to configure um, a unit settings. And you can set all of the settings here. You've got Fahrenheit, inches of mercury, miles per hour, inches, and lux. You can use all the, change those to what you want to do. You can also look at your device list. You can configure a new device. You can manage weather underground. Um, I don't have the weather underground set up on this, so there's no, no, uh, nothing there and you can manage eco -it. So there's all these things you can set up in here on the menu item. If you want to go back to the device list and look at the actual data from the device, you can click on that and go there and you have all your information here. Now, um, that's all we have to do in the app. As long as our settings are correct under the custom that we just did. So let's head over to home assistant now. And let's set up Home Assistant to pick up the Ecowit device that we just set up here. 
All right, now that we have the EcoWit configured by using the phone app, let's go ahead and install it into Home Assistant using an integration. So we'll go over to uh, configuration and click on integrations. We will add a new integration. We'll call it EcoWit. And you need to follow all these steps right here. So use the WSView app, which we did, connect to it, pick the protocol EcoWit, um, pick a port not in use on the server. So 4199. So what we didn't do was choose 4199. So let's go back to our app and let's fix that. We'll go into more. We'll click on device or we'll click on weather services and we'll click through next all the way until we find the custom and we'll change that to, let's just change it to 4199 like it says, and we will finish. And it says, make sure that we use the EcoWit protocol, which we have there, and then we'll click on finish. And now it has updated the app. Should be bringing us back to our live, live data here in just a moment. All right, so that's all set up now. All right, so it says pick a reasonable value for updates like 60 seconds and it should start attempting to send data to your server. Now we'll submit on it, submit it. And of course it's got 4199 here. You can't see all of it, but if you use your mouse to go back and forth, make sure that's 4199. And then EcoWit, um, I'm gonna just call this um, submit it. And now it has created a configuration for EcoWit on port 4199. And now we should see our EcoWit in here, which it is right here. And we should start seeing data. Now it may take up to 60 seconds for data to show up here. Um, and then it, which it should show a device here in just a moment. So let me just refresh. So we'll give it a moment for it to send an update and see that it's picking up data on 4199. Okay, so we've given a couple minutes and it's now sending data to our weather station or to our home assistant from the EcoWit device. And we can see that we have one device and 24 entities. So if we click on the 24 entities, now we can see that we have all of these different uh, value or all these different uh, sensor readings coming into our system from the EcoWit device. So we've got our pressure, rain rates, dew points, event rain rate, hourly rain rate, humidity, indoor dew point, indoor humidity, indoor temperature, and then of course your max daily wind gust, rain rate. So all these rain rates that I configured in my other Raspberry Pi setup are all configured automatically within the EcoWit uh, device. So you don't have to build out the template sensors like we did with the Raspberry Pi stuff. Outdoor temperature, um, relative pressure, solar radiation. I mean, it's just all in here. You even get battery levels for your outdoor devices, uh, wind chills are calculated for you and all of this. So this makes a, a one-stop shop for all of your sensor items. So what you can do with this now is you can, let's just click on one of these. Let's find temperature. So let's find outdoor temperature and click on it. Uh, and let's just see what we have in terms of uh, the device. It's 36.7 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is uh, really what it is right now. And then we can go in here to any of these entities and we can create uh, or add them to a dashboard or, or a card or something. So if we go back into um, let, let's go into new dash and I'll just create a new little test dashboard. So we'll just add a new little um, test weather dashboard and leave everything. Well, let's we'll give it an icon just to have one. All right, so we'll do snowflake. We'll save it. And now we'll just add a card and let's see if we can do, um, let's just do an entities card or entity. And for this, we'll just choose our new outdoor temperature that we just picked up from outside. And we'll say outdoor temperature. And then automatically picks up MDI thermometer. Uh, and then we just save that. So here's our outdoor temperature. We can add another card. Let's do another entity card. Now you could put them all in one entities card. You could do a gauge card. So let's just do a gauge card for humidity. So outdoor humidity, uh, what's it called? Humidity, one of these here is humidity, probably that one. And we'll just call it outdoor humidity. And of course it automatically defaults to percent because it's humidity. You can define severity on your your uh, graph here, on your, um, your gauge. 
So let's say zero to 50 is nice. 50 to, um, actually up to 50 is green. And then 50 to 70 is yellow. And after 70, it's red. So let's do 50, let's do 68. Oops, I did that wrong. 68 is yellow. And then above that is gonna be red. All right, so anyway, you can play with those values. But the point is now you have your outdoor temperature and your outdoor humidity uh, all coming from that EcoWit sensor. So all you have to do is just plug in that EcoWit sensor, do a little configuration. If you have one of these weather stations that it recognizes, and then um, just pull it all into Home Assistant through the integration. Super simple. One final thing I've done with this, I'll just get out of this editor for now, is I've gone in and graphed these. And I did some testing with this EcoWit sensor. Um, let me go to environment. Now I, st I shut it down um, when I was playing with it yesterday. So if I go back two days, I did some testing with the EcoWit sensor uh, versus the sensor I have through my Raspberry Pi and they're identical. So everything works just fine. Uh, I ran this for about a, a week before I did this video and the EcoWit sensor is flawless and has been working uh, fantastically. Um, so what I'll probably do is repurpose my Raspberry Pi uh, for something else and then use this EcoWit sensor for my sensor. The other thing I noticed too is that I can put it pretty much anywhere in the house and it picks up the signal. Now that could be a function of the fact that I did some modifications to the weather station and put a, a different antenna on it, but it seems to be rock solid in terms of reception. So I'm not having any of the signal issues I used to have with the Raspberry Pi when I initially set that up. So I really I really do enjoy this EcoWit sensor. It's so tiny. The only thing I don't like is that little USB power on the back of it. Um, I think that could be done a little bit better or use a more standard interface. Again, I'm not sure why they, they chose that. Um, but otherwise, the sensor is working great. I've got indoor temperature. I've got pressure. I've got wind chill. I've got a lot of the things I had to hand calculate with my Raspberry Pi setup. And um, it's all self-contained in a little tiny device. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me comments or questions down below. Uh, thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and if you, did have, if you aren't a subscriber, and I know 70% of you that watch my videos are not subscribers, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you notif you're notified when I make new videos. Also, I do live streams on occasion and you'll get that notification when I do my live streams. So we will see you on the next video.